Welcome. So in this video, we're going to talk about Flipper Zero one time again. So Flipper Zero is the number one hacking gadget that people buy these days. But why is it so? And what can it do and what can it not do? So in this video, I'm going to talk about what it can do and what it cannot do by giving you examples from TikTok's particular example, where I'm going to comment on those kind of things, hacks they do with the Flipper Zero. So without further ado, let's get right started with that. So before we start with the video, I'm going to talk about what Flipper Zero is in more detail. Basically, Flipper Zero is used for mostly radio communications. So you got stuff like the RFID, the NFC, infrared, for example, turning on and off different kind of TVs, screens and so on. Also, it can read different kind of megahertz and sub gigahertz for particular radio signals. So it is very much heavily based on radio signals. Even infrared is radio signals. NFC is radio signals. RFID is radio signal. It also got the GPIO setup, which basically means you're in the top of the flipper server, you can plug in a small board um, that then's gonna enable it to do stuff like, let's say, Wi-Fi stuff. You can attach stuff like the Marauder or whatever kind of thing you wanna attach to the flipper zero. So it is possible to customize by using the GPIO pins by plugging in an external board. You can also buy an external developer board where you can do different kind of interesting things just like that. So let's go and take a look at the video and talk about what is possible and what is not possible. So in this video right here, we have a guy standing with a flipper zero in his hand and he says hack in public. Now let's see what happens when he press the button. Right, so what happened right there is that he had a flipper zero in his hand and for some reason or something like that he pressed a button and the music started and he also saw some light flickering. Now it is highly possible that if so he had the access to that remote because it sounds like, and think about this way, it is possible to record infrared signals on the flipper zero and if he had that signal recorded and that would actually restart the music well then, that would be the signal he sent. There's no other reason to think this is anything different because most systems do use infrared signal. This is how hackers can attack your phone, even in airplane mode. All right, so we have a guy here with another Flipper Zero talking about that we can attack phones even in airplane mode. Let's see what this is all about. Here's two iPhones in airplane mode. I'm gonna turn this on. Remember, these phones are in airplane mode and ones that do not disturb, and these are going to continue to come up and make your phone. So what you see here is a, it's a famous Blee attack or Bluetooth attack. The Blee attack is basically just spamming iPhones, also can be done on Android. But iPhones is particularly more interested to do it on, I think, because uh, it, it's just a device that is more spread in a certain way to certain kind of people, and I'm not saying that there are more iPhones in the market that, that there are Android phones, but it's just more interesting to do stuff on iPhone. I guess that is why he shows it on an iPhone. It is true you can do that and you can make it spam. I also have a device right here I'm going to show it to you right now. It's called the M5 C Plus One. And on that, I also have a piece of software installed on it that's going to show the other side, maybe some reversed and also do the play spam on different kind of devices. So that small devices have also got Bluetooth installed and can do evil portal or different kind of things and credential stealing. But let's see what's going on further in the video. Well, essentially unusable. To prevent this from happening, go to your settings, Bluetooth, and disable it from there. All right, so that is true. You know, you can go ahead and disable the Bluetooth connection on your phone. Um, so, okay, let's, let's just think about it. Is it, is it, is it uh, difficult to use your phone if it's constantly popping up? Well, if you need to use it and it's popping up, well, basically you can just turn it off. I do see the issue when it's popping up and you're trying to interact with your phone. I never really tried it before. Maybe I should try it with the device I have right here. You know, the, the, the M5 small stick. 
I also ordered another M5 unit I'm waiting for gonna come up upcoming video with the M5 stack why I'm gonna talk about another way to attack Wi-Fi so let's see the next video Stay safe and make sure that you're not just disabling from the control center. Yeah. Flipper Zero with some uh, custom modifications. It does a lot. This, so this is just a proof of concept device. So when you start to add your own little additions onto it like this, I'm not going to attack your Wi-Fi, but I'll give you a little example of what I can do. I'll Thank just do you. something stupid. But I'm not going to shut your network down. I can show you on my phone or you can... Okay, so I think it's very important to talk about what he just said right there. I'm not going to shut your network down. Okay, so what he talks about there is a de-authentication attack, which essentially is not shutting anything down. It's just denying a connection from a client to the Wi-Fi access point, which I understand in the eyes of a user and a non-technical person would be the same as the network is down. I understand that, but it's just to keep it simple. Mm, he's talking to a guy, I guess he's talking to a guy, that have not really any kind of high technical understanding, which is why this is gonna be a bit, you know, mm, overly emphasized. Let's see what he says now. Look at your phone, but instead of me mirroring your network, I just created a bunch of fake networks. So all of these networks here, they probably appear to be legitimate, right? Yeah, so what he shows here is just the basic Wi-Fi spam, where you create a lot of different kind of access points. I wanna say, this unit can also do that. It costs around $10. So the basic Wi-Fi access point spam can be done also as an evil portal. And I want to see what it says next so we can continue. Yeah, but they're not. These are all fake networks. They're all powered by... Look at how... I want to say, look at the man in the, in, 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 in the blue clothes, right? He's like very surprised that this is all fake networks. Come on, you know, it's 2024, we should know about these kind of things. This is why I think awareness about the hardware gadgets you can buy these days. And this this trick right here is not old. Well, sorry, it is old, old like, you know, dirt. It is so old, so nothing new to it. Okay, so as soon as you connect to any of those, I have your... Yeah, you can even see the flipper zero and he's sitting there with uh, a GPIO bought something like that with some Wi-Fi antennas. So sitting with the flipper still with the antennas, you can do these kind of things. And I understand it's, it's highly popular to do it, but yeah. Password, I have anything in between. The Flipper Zero, the newest hacking device, and it has a mode where you can press on NFC and start scanning and reading for NFC uh, nearby. Uh, luckily enough, the person behind the camera actually let me use his credit card. Oh, the credit card thing. Okay, I'm gonna say, Already now, I think what he's going to say is is that, you know, you can clone the credit card and pay with it, which is not possible. So I can just tap out the back of it. No way it is deep. Yeah, it is going to read it, and there are some things you can read, but it's not usable for anything. Look at that. Your card expiration date. Yo! 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 Yeah, okay, so this is a guy, you know, just thinking he cloned a credit card, and he did not. He didn't clone anything, he just snatched the overall expiration date, you know, and, and that's really it, you know. And he's thinking he can replay that, so let's see what happens. Bro, literally just like that? Just like that. I had your, uh, your information. Yeah, nope. yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah! Half hotel key card. All right, so it is not possible to clone uh, credit cards. Also, it is not possible to open cars because on car keys, just like my car here, <laughs> you got the rolling pins. So it's it's an old thing in the car keys where the, the, the algorithm just changed the frequency a little bit so you cannot open it because it's an old trick you know the flipper zero just came some years ago 2021 i think it was and it doesn't you know let you open a car maybe you can open most tesla charging ports but who cares about that with flipper zero <laughs> read using it and see on flipper zero okay so he's talking about capturing a reader key uh, using the MF keys 32 and he shows the image quite clearly here. So and take on some shoes, man, you know, bring on some shoes. 
to capture reader keys and FKEY32. Three, simulate the card. Success. Yeah. Okay. So that's really interesting, you know, opening a door and yeah, that is also possible to do. You know, um, not really gonna come much more on that. Oh. Hacker. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so let me just uh, show you exactly what he did. He showed in the video and he was performing a de-authentication attack. Really, that's also what he did in the first video, you know, but he, well, he didn't de-auth, he created a multiple different kind of networks using the evil portal, I think it is. And he also talked about capturing all the passwords, which was a bit overly emphasized to the easy way. It's not just that the user have to type it in. Anyways, this is also very possible, you know, just doing normal authentication attacks, this unit can do it as well. So basically uh, what we saw so far up until the reading on the NFC card, this small unit can do it all. What I'm gonna say is that this small unit I have in my hand is also highly customizable, but the Flipper Zero is probably a little better because the user interface is better and also because you can tag in different kind of development boards. So, 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 so. Well, let's go ahead and talk about is Flipper Zero the thing you need? Flipper Zero can probably be the thing you need. I really want one, but I'm also trying to let YouTube, from the money I earn, buy it for me. So, um, you can buy some kind of things here on the Flipper Zero .1 page. There's another page also selling it. And this is my currency in Denmark, which is. Uh, it's okay, you know, you can go ahead and just check out the price. Let's say United States should probably be around right there. You know, okay, so we get it for $169 right now. It's actually going down a bit, which is nice to see, at least from my standpoint of view. So you can get the prototype boards, the Wi-Fi developing boards, the video game, it's for play, I guess, screen protectors and a silicon case. The Flipper Zero itself is no magic unit. It doesn't do anything that's not already possible with devices we have in our hands already right now. You can go ahead and buy yourself infrared sender things, small units. You can go ahead and buy, I wanna show it to you one more time, the Wi-Fi d watch with the big antenna for the 200 meter range. You can go ahead and buy all the different kind of things you would like to buy. You can also buy the crazy radio which I have right here with a one kilometer range. The Flipper Zero doesn't have a one kilometer range. With this you can do Wi-Fi, you know, sorry, uh, mouse jacking and so on. So so basically I'm just gonna talk about, now Flipper Zero can do many of these things too. I'm not saying it cannot, but I'm also saying that it is not the magic unit for you if you think this is gonna solve all your hacking endeavors and stuff like that. It's not gonna solve much. Is it a powerful unit for its price and its small size? Is it, yeah, it is, I guess. For many people that never have done hacking before, this is probably the magic small device because it looks like a hacking device, it acts like a hacking device. It's got a shady way of looking. I love it, but you know how it is. And the community is great. So I would say, hey, why not, right? So, uh, Raspberry Pi, what is that? Oh, it's the uh, small unit. You can go ahead and video game module. So there's another one right there. So there are pretty many. It's also one right there. Okay, so there's many things you can go ahead and check out with the Flipper Zero. It's great. It's fine. I will really love it. I hope that uh, I can get some more money from YouTube soon so I can go ahead and buy it. But it seems like they're taking a lot of tax. If you would like to support me in any way, there are links in the description below where you can go ahead and check them out. So thanks for watching and tuning in. Please click this bell, subscribe and check in online. Have a nice day.